All right, this is a first test of how to use views inside itself to download something. In this case, let's just do something simple like music. Something old school. How about, you know, Eminem, old school. All right, as you can see, it's got its own search bar up top. <clears throat> Simply click on that and type in what you're looking for. Um, let's not go anything fancy. Let's just do one, one quick song, or one album in this case. So when you click on the item that you've looked for, it's going to take you at the bottom and show you simply <clears throat> the website that it came from, in this case, Kick-Ass Torrents. Personally, I always like to look at it and see how many people rate it. On top of that, sometimes if you want the comments, just take a quick peek and see what people are saying. Good, good. So, all right. Views makes it simple. Big blue button. Download now. Download is going. And as you notice over on your left hand control panel, you will see the downloading section. It is now moving, showing that we're downloading at least one item. If you want to go there, we can go back and to see its progress. So if you didn't know what this meant before, seeds, there's over 2,491 people that's sharing this particular album, 31 of those which right now are connected. If you take a look there, I'm getting almost 2 megs per second on my download. So while we've been talking this whole time, pretty much no big deal. A whole album is downloaded. So this way you can at least listen to the album, see if you even like it, if it's worth purchasing. There's plenty of websites that allow you to do that. Me, I don't like to be on the web. You know, it's my deal. All right, so we've got about one second left. So we're in the downloading section. Now that it's finished, downloading disappears. It shows up under our new information. A couple key points that you'll see. It tells you how big the file is. Those of you concerned putting it onto your phone or memory stick, what have you. And this thing right here shows you that it's seeding. So for now, since I can't delete it, if this program is still using the file, let's go ahead and stop it from using it. Notice the control panel right up top. Interesting thing about views, a lot of folks like this. If you want to play it, you can. I've got my PlayStation 3 down here. I can simply drag and drop it to my PlayStation 3. And it is now being converted onto my PlayStation 3, which tells me everything's ready. All right, so that's simple, folks. You've just learned how to download something using views. I'm going to show you one last quick tidbit. For those of you using Windows 7, if you open up your folders, Documents, and you will now see Views Downloads. It may be at the bottom of your list. I always keep my lower letters at the top. In this case, Bad Meets Evil. There he is. All right. From there, you can do with it what you will. I'm going to go ahead and put that into my music folder. All right. Thanks for watching my first bit on how to use views.